women once they become men. They'll finally be able to experience what it must feel like to feel safe from men who think like you. If you're just joining us, let's recap what this man has said previously. If women come to be men, I think most of the women will not be able to control themselves but to go and attack all the women outside by being men. They will go and half of the women outside. So this is the type of man we're dealing with. And see how we look at women. Once they go back to being women again, all the women will cover themselves up entirely. What I got from that was women aren't the problem and men like this will continue to place the responsibility of that problem onto women. The looks in a man, although it might be a quick look, but the intentions behind every look is not the same as what women think. Women don't need to enter a man's body to know this. They're fully aware of this. Women who dress modestly get attacked by men as well. The problem isn't what they're wearing. The message is, is that if you choose to wear a certain type of clothing in public, you're asking for it. You can't expect men to behave in a civil manner if you're going to dress that way. That's completely unrealistic. Women need to take responsibility for the actions of men that they have no control over. It's quite disheartening that there aren't more men more vocal at their disgust at how our culture thinks so low of us. And women are supposed to trust us to lead them. Really? If I'm walking with my wife and I see a man looking at my wife, I will be furious to this other guy. Why is another man looking at your wife? Isn't she supposed to be covered up? Because I know his thinking and what he's thinking about. Why he's looking at her. He doesn't know what other men are thinking. He is projecting what he thinks when he looks at women. We men, we understand this look. And probably the men that he chooses to hang around with think when they're looking at women. If you choose to look at women in this manner, you do not see women as human beings. You see as objects to violate. And it's sad to think that there are so many men out there who see no issue with that and basically don't care. To go on and have the nerve to wonder why women hate us and don't care about us anymore. When it honestly just shocks me they ever liked us or cared about us in the first place. These will be the same men that will promote to young men they need to build discipline and self-control within their lives. You need to go to the gym regularly, lift weights, become strong, physically fit, abstain from being lazy and inactive. You need to eat good, healthy food consistently and abstain from eating junk food. Building a better life for yourself over drinking drugs and partying. Abstaining from watching and consuming adult content and self-pleasure. Because evidently the message is weak, pathetic, Pathetic loser men only do that. We encourage strong discipline and self-control throughout an entire man's life, but when it comes to this, well, that's women's fault. It's unrealistic to expect men to behave in a civil manner when you chose to dress like that.